If you don't garden in the month of May, either you don't garden at all, or you live on the wrong side of the planet. This is the Front Range Gardener with five tips for your garden in May. May is the ideal month to begin container gardening. Any frosts are mild and short duration. Move containers indoors or cover them to get through cool nights. When designing your pots, choose a color scheme. I like to choose contrasting colors like yellow and purple. Another option is a primary color plus white. But for this potting, I'm going to choose two different shades of purple petunias. Design the planting in layers. Look for a tall central element. For a sunny pot, cordyline is a great choice. It comes in a wide variety of colors that add interest to your planting. It is also frost hardy. For the middle layer, choose flowers or foliage that combine to fill in the pot. There are a great variety of choices. Petunias, sweet alyssum, marigolds, and many others are good options. I'm going to use these petunias for my middle layer. For the final layer, use a trailing plant. This will spill over the edge of the pot and add interest. Vinca, creeping jenny, and sweet potato vines are fun trailing plants to work with. This vinca will trail to several feet long, which is ideal for my pot, which will go into this urn. Sweet potato vines are very sensitive to frost, so plant them when the weather warms up a little more. If you like these kinds of tips, please subscribe to my channel to keep up the latest in Colorado landscape gardening. If you garden below 7,000 feet in elevation, you will probably suffer your last frost in May. This is the month to start planting beds of annuals. There are annuals that you can plant that can survive a light frost. This will give you a head start on the planting season. I have a primary color scheme in my front yard. This helps to tie everything together. I use contrasting colors of yellow and purple. If I want to soften the color palette, I will add white. In this flower bed, I'm going to plant a border of dusty millers on the sides. In the back, I'm going to add some yellow snapdragons. And then in the middle, I'm going to have these two contrasting colors of purple petunias. You may remember that I use some of these petunias in my container gardening. If you like the look of this flower bed, be sure to give this video a like. May is the perfect time to plant summer flowering bulbs. Mrs. Front Range Gardener is particularly fond of lilies, so I have two bags of lilies to add to my cut flower bed. My favorite summer bulbs are gladiolas. Gladiolas are not usually winter hardy in Colorado, although I do have many that survive the winter on the sunny side of my house. On the north side of my house, I dig up these gladiolas after the first fall frost. I stored them in my garage over the winter. I'm going to soak these corms in room temperature water for a few hours before planting. This gives them a head start on the growing season. Plant gladiolas about six inches deep, water thoroughly. In about two months, you will have a fabulous bloom. Do you want more plants for free? May is an excellent month to divide perennials. Here are some of the plants that I divided last year to fill in the garden. The plants that you can divide have multiple soft stems. Examples of these plants are Shasta Daisy, Carnations, Salvia, Speedwell, Coral Bells, and Hosta. The day prior to dividing your plant, water it thoroughly. Dividing the plant damages the root system, and we wanted to have a last long drink with its roots intact. Next, prepare the planting holes. This is a good time to amend the soil with fertilizer and organic matter. Carefully dig up the plant. Divide into two or more pieces. Place the pieces into the prepared holes. Water thoroughly. 
There are more details in my video on dividing perennials. May is the month that most of us will turn on our sprinkler systems. While a sprinkler blowout in fall requires a compressor, turning on the sprinkler system just requires a screwdriver. Step one is to locate your backflow valve. A typical backflow valve will have valves upstream and downstream of the valve. Open these valves by turning the handles in line with the pipes. There are usually two test valves. Close the test valves with a flat bladed screwdriver. The screwdriver slot will be perpendicular to the water flow when it is closed. Your main sprinkler shutoff valve is usually located where the water main enters the house. Open the valve by turning the handle in line with the pipe. Run each zone and inspect the sprinkler heads. A sprinkler head with a weak or partial spray needs to be unclogged. Unscrew the sprinkler nozzle. Clean out the filter. Clean any debris from the nozzle and screw the head back on. Once you have inspected all of your zones, your sprinklers are ready for the season. If April showers bring May flowers, then what do May flowers bring? If you know the answer, write it in the comments below. Watch these other incredible videos for more information on these tips. Grow May flowers and you will have happy gardening.